Yo, hello everyone. Do you want to manage your software testing more efficiently? Look no further than Testrail. In this video, I will show you how to get started with Testrail in 2023. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. The first thing that I will need you guys to do is launch your browser. Then go to the URL section and search for test row. And then here you go. Now just click on the first link if you'd like to, or go to testrail.com official website. So this is the website as you can see. This is our orchestrate testing elevate quality. If you'd like to go and try this website, You'll find here everything about them before you get started with using it. Here, this is some test management and some statistics that you can get from them before you can actually get the actual software for your own self. So here, you'll get 65% of customer increase, 82 of customers significantly increase uh, their test visibility, and here, 84 of customers save up to 3 hours per QA team member. And now, all you have to do is check the pricing that will be good for you. You will have two kinds of pricing, or plans in general, the cloud plan and the server plan. The cloud plan is more uh, cheaper, more uh, good for people who have like a low budget, and server is of course for high budget. Let's go with the professional cloud. The professional cloud is for 408 per year, which is about, we can range about 400 per 12, it's gonna be around $34 per month. You will get a limited project, test cases and suits, test runs, plans and milestones, the defect and requirements integrations, uh, trustability and coverage reporting, and test run API. On the other side, you will get all this professional cloud to the enterprise cloud, but with other benefits as single sign-on, granular admin permissions, test case version control and approvals, test parameterization, advanced auditing, and priority support. Now, for the servers, you'll find here some kind of the same plans, but with more users. Of course, it is more expensive because it has more users. Now, if I change this, for example, to 5, as you can see, it is more expensive now, as you may see. So, this is per users, and this is how many users are on your team. So, as you can see, the cloud now has become much more expensive. And if we actually went to monthly, it will be even more expensive. So as we mentioned before here, if I try to do the calculation once more, here 185 and this with per 12, it's gonna be, um, yeah, a little bit more by $200, which is actually pretty decent to go and save $200 by going to the annual plan instead of the monthly plan. And if you'd like to test terrestrial, you can just click on this top right corner button to try it out and now, all you have to do is fill this form with your information. And there is some trusted teams that are working with, like Rakuten, Kesco, uh, uh, VMware, Ford, PayPal, NASA, uh, Simons, and Abbott. So these are the most popular companies that are using um, TestRail at the moment. Now, all you have to do, as I mentioned, is fill these blanks over here. So let's do so. Here we go. Phone number, optional. Here, the same thing. Country, how many users, one. And web address, we're gonna do, for example, something like that. And after you finish with that, I agree. And then click on done. Uh, the website has one of three characters, so this could this. The web address feed uses an envelope for a minute to add. Okay, let's try to make a here. Is it working? Is invite format minimum three characters allowed? Characters are okay. Let's add X. 
it is straight not working so I don't think it's gonna work at all at this rate let's give it a name so tutorial here and here let's copy this and make it tutorial and create accounts it is set not working so available under this others all right so let's try to make something else here it is pretty hard to actually get an address now because as you know uh, there is so many people using this platform now and it has been so much stressful to get an address uh, in here so most of the people are actually using it so let me just think of an address to use and then i will be right back to you guys so now guys i have uh, got a message from this tray here you go and now let's confirm our registration and as you can see here the account was actually uh, created by the first domain name that we have given to them but they had some kind of problems to accept it so thanks for confirmation your account is now being created so all you have to do is give it some times and then your account shall be created with this domain name that you have given to them so i will just wait until the domain has been created and then i will be right back and finally guys i have created the account so welcome nice to meet you now i'm going to choose here i'm new to test trail and then click on next what best describes your role software queue quality engineer quality manager engineer manager other and etc i'm going to go with students which users would you like to connect test trail with there is jira gitlab appium travis cs uh, circle cl g unit and much more so choose the platform that you want to connect it with and when you're done you can click on done and you'll be connected here this is the dashboard and that's how it's gonna look like here you can go ahead and create a new project by adding a project you can just here type its name tutorial announcement a new project and here we can do this and choose how our project is going to be to look like um, I'm going to do with this and if you'd like to give any access defect references or user variables you can add them through here once you're finished click on add project and it has been created successfully now your shot is rendering so let's add here some test cases first click test cases to navigate your test case reportly so click on here to add your cases so here you can just add a section or you can directly add a test case here let's click on and then they will take us to another page where we can actually add the test cases and what are the, the cases that we have and what are the predictions that we are predicting and the steps and the expected results so we have to fill all of these with our informations of our own product and once you feel like you are done with it you just have to click on add next and then you will have everything ready to go so you'll find the thing here you can start it through test runs and results you can here add the test run choose the project that you are working on to the test case and everything will be working perfectly so yeah guys that was it for today's video if you enjoyed it please make sure to leave a like and thank you guys for watching bye bye